Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Pez Plays. This time, we're going to be playing Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. This game was my childhood. It's amazing. It's for the GameCube, the PS2, the original Xbox. It's a bit old, but it's so super fun. It's an Australian game. I can, as you can tell, I'll show you the accents right here. Uh, You'll need another mate. Yeah, basically, the main weapon you get in this game uh, for your uh, Tasmanian Tiger here, named Ty. Uh, well, first you can bite with his massive mouth. And boomerangs! Mini boomerangs! All of the boomerangs! Right now we only have one. Let's go to Bly Bly Station here and get our second. And then we can just destroy all the things. Basically, the backstory to this... Um, Ty here, his family was uh, sent to the Dreaming, a, like alternate universe, uh, uh, an alternate universe, uh, which is actual mythology in like Australia, and um, yeah, he's going to cat, he's going to the through these rainbow portals here, made by a scientist koala guy. It's yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, we're collecting thunder eggs to get th uh, to get these talismans to open the dreaming and bring back his family and stop Boss Cass, the cassowary with the giant robot sending all mammals back into the dream. Let's just play the game, okay? It's a fun game. Yeah, let's get on with it. Skip all the skip all that crap. These are opals. There are 300 of them in every level. There are quite a few levels, so quite a few opals. Um, I really like uh, it has a lot of ambience too, because look at these wallabies. They're so cute. Look at the wallabies. They just hop along. There's a bunch of them too. Look at them all go. Aren't they cute? The butterfly. I love this game. Anyway, this here is our first thunder egg. Like I said, Australian. <laughs> yeah, 72 thunder eggs. Well, 71 now. And as you'll notice in the in the top left corner, um, I am playing on em on an emulator, but only because I don't have a capture card. I do own the game. I do have a GameCube. I just don't have a capture card. I hope it's all right with you guys. I shouldn't uh, mess with any anything too much. But yeah. Just wanted to clear that up as well. Wallabies, so cute. Love all the wallabies. Okay then. Set a choppers on you. I cannot do accents. I'm sorry. Fancy boomerang tricks. Opals. All right. Oh, come on. Get the boxes. For this first level, you can. I think you can actually uh, like a hundred percent it without any of the extra boomerangs. And there are quite a few boomerangs you can unlock. Here are the frills. For the short time you get to see them. They're boss Cass's entrance. Basically, all just about all the enemies in the game are frills. I think under nope. Next one. I know everything in this game. I will love it so much. Ah, oh, no. oh, here are the bilbies. Yeah, basically uh, the bilbies are his adoptive family, and uh, yeah, Boss Cass captured them, and now we got to break them out so they can dance their sparkly way away. Off they go. They all have a weird little dance they do, it's awesome. And if you jump and bite... Yeah, there's a little head plant. Here it is, the first cog we get. Cogs are used to get, um... Techno rings. I'll explain more about this stuff once we, like, actually get to them. I'm jumping way ahead of myself. Uh, can we get up there yet? I think we can. Alright, that didn't work, but we can get up there. If we stop screwing up, there we go. Awesome. Second cog, I think there are ten cogs in each level. Onwards. Oh, my button is getting stuck. My controller is terrible. Here we are. Oh, no we aren't. Almost. And nothing up here. Oh, 
Oh, it's the kangaroos. <laughs> Alright. What is this? <laughs> Their eyes are open the entire time. So were they were they sleeping or were they just chilling out there? I don't understand. It Zimbals think that was really derpy. <laughs> there we go. Takes care of them. I don't know, that that little sequence there always seems ridiculous to me. We got thunder eggs, we can chain our bites together. Because physics and thunder eggs. Thunder eggs are physics. Learn, learn your maths. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Okay, so now that we got a hundred, I'll show you once we get to the part. Um, once you get a hundred opals, you get a special bite, which I will show you in just a little bit. Also, Granny Dance, Granny Bilby, Dance, yeah. The other ones are way better. Onwards. Oh, kangaroo, hello. Not gonna deal with any of your shenanigans. Get out of here. Oh, hello! Ouch! Well then, that happened. <coughs> Three cogs. And then there's another cog right over there by Julius. Julius? Julian? I don't remember what it is. Hello. Alright. Let's go talk to the koala. Hello there, buddy. Yes. Yes. This just might do. Will it? G'day, Julius. Julius, that's his name. Hello, Ty. The cogulacious boomerangerous extrapolator. Alright, so yeah, we get the Cogulacious Boomerangus Extrapolator. That's what makes the uh, special Techno Rings with Golden Cogs, like he's saying right now. But I'm gonna talk over him, because yeah. Yep, yep, he builds us new Boomerangs, great. We also get uh, Elemental Rings, which we actually need to progress through the game. Which is why we're collecting the uh, Thunder Eggs. <laughs> I'm terrible at explaining this, you'll really, you'll really see once the game really gets going. Yeah. We'll start already almost have 200 opals. We should be getting close to our second ring here soon. There are uh, two sequels to this, both of which are freaking awesome. In the uh, third one, uh, you, your uh, boomerangs get the ability to be used as melee weapons. So you can slash and hack your way through enemies with the, uh, or the quinkin, as they're called in the uh, third game. Uh, being hack and slash your way through them, through the quinkin with uh, your rings. And um, just, oh, your crap, your crap. Then you only kill the crabs by biting them. Yep. Logic. Come here, bird. Pie. There we go. Dogs. All of the things. I want all of them. I don't know if I'm going to be like 100%ing this. I might. However, in order to 100% it, there are like invisible boxes that float around throughout every level. And you have to collect a lot of them in every level. And, uh... I don't, uh, I might just do like, um, once I finish the main game, I might do like one final episode where it shows you all those, and then do the finale. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know. And actually post comments for once. Okay, just saying. <coughs> Not judging y'all, just could use a little input once in a while, thanks. Alright. Yeah, the second ring is just up ahead. When I say no, I get this game. I've memorized this game completely. There it is! The ring in the stone. 
you remember that story? It's a classic. There's another thing about this game. The music is so awesome. I love it. It's like my favorite soundtrack to a game. Yep, yep. Now we got two rings. We can throw both of them. Woohoo! Let's get that cog first and then fight all the thrill. All the thrills. So if we have to fight all of them, will this turn into just Thriller? Yeah, someone make that a thing. I want to see Thriller. <laughs> so stupid, gosh dang it. <laughs> Alright, also Ty cannot swim. We get that later once we get the Aqua Rings. Alright, here, now I can show you the super awesome amazing 100 Opal Bite. So, psh, And it chain bites everything. <laughs> Almost everything. Ouch. That didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. But yeah, there we go. Thriller! Onwards. I love this magnet. It makes so much makes life so much easier. And here we go. We got uh, uh, 275 opals. We're almost there. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So now that we have two boomerangs, we can glide. Doesn't it make sense? Yes, it does. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna finish this level before the episode is done. All right. So this thing, uh, once we get all 300 opals, we put all the opals in here, and it gives us a thunder egg. But what we're gonna want to do now is go through these old uh, mushroom rings, and it takes us back to the beginning of the level, where once we like get through the whole level, we can do this: the race. There's one of these in every level. You just basically gotta. It'll be either like a. Like, beat the fastest time, like this one, where you gotta go through the rings. Or you'll be actually racing an NPC. Both ways, it's pretty fun, because you just get to, like, run straight through the whole level. <clears throat> this one's kinda short, though. How fast can we do it? Uh, 31. Alright. It was a ripper. I'm not even going to try doing uh, freaking accents. I cannot. So now there should just be a bit more to do. Let's glide on over. Alright, so now that we have the gliding ability, thanks to our second boomerang, we should be able to get to the uh, other part of the level that you can only get to once you glide. And then we can 100% this, ep this uh, level in the first episode. Wouldn't that be nice? <clears throat> this whole level is basically just an intro anyways, so... Up and along. Oh yeah, these are dunnies. Uh, outhouses. They're basically checkpoints. So when you die, you just, like, uh, happen to pop out in a dunny. I don't know how that works, but it does. So, fight on over here, get the bilby. I think this one's the cool dance. Hey, look at him go. Go bilby. Haha. <laughs> yep, oh, run into the dunny. This is the part, yeah. And now this jump would be too much normally, but we can glide now, so. And here are the last of the opals and everything, and yeah. I almost called them rupees. <clears throat> there we go. Grab all these. Check for the gator. Is there a gator? There you go. I saw one. There are alligators. <coughs> Crocodiles, whatever. Alright, one more cog, and it's pretty easy to get. But now, I can show you the bunyip. This thing right here. Bam! He wrecks everything, pretty much. Except for water. He can't go in water. 
So this is just like some temporary uh, invincible power-up that's not really used at all in the game. It's only really used twice and not for anything, it's just like there, because it can be. <clears throat> in the second and third game, you get like robotic bunyips that are like, um, that you get to use throughout the whole, the whole game. And it's, it's really cool. There's the gator. I think it's a crocodile. Yeah, I think they're crocs. Alright, this should be the last thing we have to do here. Possibly. Grab this last opal. Yep, just got a little more to go. Oh, and there's one of those invisible boxes I was talking about. You see that there, like above the mountain, right in the center of the reticule. So yeah, I'm not going to get any of those right now. I'll worry about them later. Yep, alright, here we go. Last thunder egg, I think. No, there's one more thunder egg. That we get from the bilby in the waterfall here. Wait, didn't we only get the granny? I don't even know. Maybe it was the mom. I have no idea. So it didn't give us the thunder egg, so there's still one more bilby left somewhere. I won't this I won't end this episode until I find it. And yeah, there's a cog. Where's the bilby though? Mm. Oh, is that it? A... Mm. I think that might have been just a crate. Oh no, where's that last bilby? Should have gotten them all. Whatever. Tenth cog. That's all the cogs. So we're good there. Yep. Get on up there. I think I missed a crate up here. Yeah, there it is. That should be it for the opals. Uh, yes! 300 opals! Sweet! So now we just gotta make it to the end of the level again. And we'll get the last thunder egg. If I can find that bilby. Where could it be? And I said I memorized this game. I lied. Sorry. I have no idea where it is. Hmm. Let's just take this guy because we can. And jump in the water so we lose it immediately. Oh, maybe not. Okay, deep water. Where's the last Bilby? He's over here. Hmm. Which one is it? Hmm. I have no idea where it is. Well, we can come back for it later. It's no problem. Let's just get that. Oh, yeah. Giant floating tie heads are extra lives. Anyways, let's get this last opal and... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought the last Bilby might be here. Dang it. Oh, well. Again, we'll come back to it later. Anyways, here we go. Throw all the opals in here, get a thunder egg, and we'll be off. Yeah! Did it! Look at them all go. And we are done here, except for the last bilby, which we'll get later. Alright. So next time on Pez Plays... We might go back for that bilby. We might go to the next level. We'll see. See you next time on Pez Plays. Bye.